What up, this is Jasio. I'm gonna answer a quick question. Uh, what does NFT mean? NFT means non-fungible token. What does that even mean, fungible? Uh, and in fact, non means no, obviously, fungible. Uh, fungible means it's identical. Let's look up to what fungible actually means. Um, F-U-N-G-I-B-L-E. Fungibility in economics is the property of a good or commodity whose individual units are essentially interchangeable and each of uh, whose parts is indistinguishable from another part. For example, gold is fungible since a specified amount of pure gold is equivalent to the same amount of pure gold, whether in the form of coins, ingots, or in other states. Other fungible commodities include sweet crude oil, company shares, bonds, other precious metals, and currencies. So, currencies. Let's get in because obviously this is what we're talking about. So, crypto is a fungible um, token. All cryptos are fungible tokens unless it's a non-fungible token they have to they have to say that to make sure you know that it's different all that means is that the token is unique so the whole thing around it is that typically you would attach uh, an external thing a media format a picture a video a pdf a song whatever it's being used for media primarily but it could be used outside of like media from my understanding thus far I'm, I'm super imaginative so let's stay within the realms of media because this is what I think it, the big thing is right now it's like this art thing so you take a file and you attach it to this non-fungible token or it becomes a non-fungible token the program or the, the software generates a non-fungible token at the same time that you're uploading and processing this other file and putting them together so that they are attached. So when you have the NFT, you're also getting the thing attached to the NFT. NFT by itself is just uh, you know a unique set of numbers or whatever, right? It's just a, a unique piece of data. If it doesn't have anything attached to it, how are you gonna know it's non-fungible outside of like looking at the data and figuring out you know, looking at it like this and trying to figure out if they're, if they're similar, it's like taking two pieces of paper and one has a dot on it. You're trying to it's super, you know, what I mean, like it has a taking two blank pieces of paper and trying to figure out how they are different. Yeah, there's a minuscule difference, but they're pretty much still two pieces of paper. So, by if I were to draw something on the piece of paper, right, attaching something to it, ink, right. Uh, I don't have to draw a picture, I can just do a line. Now, that paper is e equally distinguishable from the other piece of paper. Non-fungible now. You could say, you know, a stack of paper is, they're, they're fungible. Versus like, I take a piece of paper and I draw on it, now that's non-fungible. Uh, so that's really the difference, that's what an NFT is. It's just something that's unique. It's just taking the idea of um, fungibility and non-fungibility and bringing it into the crypto space. Is um, old knowledge applied to new technology. So that is what an NFT is. If you want to know more about NFTs, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be making more videos about NFTs. We're going to go into the NFT market and explore. And I will I might get deep into it and get it, get, give you general concepts that you could use outside of this popular NFT space. We just talked about fungibility and what that means and how that applies to things outside of the crypto world. So... Hope you learned something. Make sure and like this video if you learned something. Comment below if you have knowledge relative to what I'm saying, if you have any questions relative to what I'm saying. And notification bell and subscribe because if you enjoy this, well, I got other videos. If you like art and you like education, you like edutainment, then here I am. G-Y-S-I-O. Find me. I might be putting some, not might, I will eventually be putting some NFTs out there. So, see you later. Peace, peace.